I have a clinic in uh, Florence, Italy. I am uh, working with naturopathy, Ayurveda and um, homeopathy. And I'm also uh, director of the Ojas Academy in Zurich. So I teach students how to work on subtle energies and naturopathic medicine. I am in Zurich because I'm teaching um, a certain group of students about um, energies, about environmental energies and subtle energies. And three, four years ago, I asked Sri Chimoy what I should do about this, and he really encouraged me to start an academy. So now we had like 40 students from Russia and other countries from the East, and they came here and they studied with me every day and they learn how to use different devices and how to develop their capacity in feeling energies and that's what we do here in Zurich at the Academy. The main goal of the program is to teach how to use a, a specific device, this one. It's called Lecker Antenna. This is all a periscopio antenna with different frequencies and if you learn how to measure technically, you can find different environmental uh, phenomena like running water, like good place for sleeping, good place for working, good place for um, increasing the life force. So this is all about how to, to use this instrument and how to perfect yourself in becoming more and more aware and fine about what is all around us. What is invisible, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. What is invisible is a subtle force that creates a field and we are all interconnected and we are like particles in this big field. So if we can become aware of how these energies are working, we can actually create better places where we can stay and we can create better interactions in the big field. Well, yeah, yeah, we study also Feng Shui, mainly Vastu, that is the old Indian um, way of constructing and dealing with environmental energies. So I try to combine different uh, knowledge. For example, I have a background in quantum physics and I try to combine scientific aspects like quantum physics with Vastu and uh, with Ayurveda, with Feng Shui and of course with uh, modernity because we have so many new fields that 1,000 years ago were not there. So we have to update all this knowledge and to make it like a body of uh, strong new uh, knowledge and approach. Everything can be uh, with a very good chi and prana or not. Everything is resonating with the life principle. So you can have, for example, a very powerful resonance field in your house and working place or in your garden. So I, when I started this, it was almost 10 years ago, my grandfather was a famous Italian dowser, so a person that could measure subtle energies, and he was a kind of pioneer. So I I discovered that after I started this, because it was kept secret in my family for different reasons. So uh, since like 10 years, I've been measuring different houses and dwellings, let's say really more than 700. And you can see incredible things, like what's happening inside houses. And sometimes it's so, so strong the, the harmony that you can create that people can feel and they're so happy and they have a better like basic field of energy and it's actually inspiring them to 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 improve themselves so it's so important to have good places good food good drinking water where you know all, these are all basic factors for for our you know health and happiness i think the old point in uh, bioenergetics is, you know, the energy you, you spend is the energy that has to come again. Mm -hmm. So it's all about resources. So 
you need to be very careful. You know, for example, in measuring subtle energies, you have to find like a balance. Like you cannot like pass a certain border. Like you, you need balance, harmony. That's why you know meditation is so important because it gives you the precise inner balance and inner feeling what you should do or what you should not do. So what is good for you. If you feel very good, you can do everything. But then you, you, you have to be very wise and very, very, you know, uh, you, you need to, to, to have a, a relationship with energy like a, like a jewel, something very precious. Like prana is very important and we have to keep the prana alive and, and clean it and renewing it. So it's something very delicate and something very precious from my point of view. One day I got lost in Rome with 10 other friends of mine and we were actually looking for a parking place and we couldn't find a parking place so after one and a half hour we found a parking place and we parked the car. And at a certain point, I got lost. I said, man, I was with 10 friends, I got totally lost, I'm crazy. <laughs> then I said, I had an inner feeling, I should go back to the car. Then I got to the car and nobody was to the car. And then I actually was like this in front of the car. And at, the cer at that moment, a big, a another car came and Sri Moy came out of the car. And actually, another door opened and Mother Teresa was there. So can you imagine? I just parked the car in the, in the only place possible in Rome where to, to see uh, Sri Chinmoy and Mother Teresa. I was really impressed by Sri Chinmoy force and vibration and I was really inspired. What I actually see like on patients is that the energy is changing, changing very fast. I don't know what's happening or what will happen. Like, I know that um, the old system is, is really a, very f accelerated. And I think new energies are, are coming down and, and nature as perfect embodiment of Dharma, it will react against some tendencies that we created. So there will be something, but I think you know, mainly we, we, we need to absorb this new energy, this new consciousness. And this is going on for everybody. So we will face this transformation. It could be an inner transformation. What I know, for example, is the big problem we have with the water. I recently, I, I published a book with two scientists about water. And, you know, water is the most precious element and we will have more and more and more countries with, without drinking water. So we have to take care of basic things. But we have to feel also the necessity of a big changing in our consciousness because these energies need a deep transformation and awareness in our consciousness. So I always try to inspire patients or people to, to become more aware and to, and this is actually happening. They start meditating and they are more and more changing their diet and, you know, lifestyle. I think this is a necessity for humanity. Thank you.